Welcome to the Galapagos Islands. Galapagos is a unique place on Earth. It has two main seasons. One is called the wet season and the other the dry season. The wet season, as you would predict, is when it rains a lot. This season goes from December to March. The dry season, yep, you guessed it, is mostly dry with less rainfall from June until December. The climate is based upon ocean currents, and in fact, there are three currents that converge around the Galapagos, bringing a unique mix of marine life to the Galapagos. Where are the Galapagos Islands, you might ask? Well, if you look at this map off the west coast of South America, you will see little dots. Zoom into those, and voila! Galapagos is home to several rare animals such as the marine iguana, which is the only lizard known to forage in the sea. There are also land iguan iguanas that find food above water as well. You might have seen one of these giant tortoises in a zoo before. Did you know their lifespan is over a hundred years old? They are also becoming endangered and many species are already extinct. And you might be wondering by now, isn't the title of this video Finches? And yes, you are correct. Finches are famous on the Galapagos for their amazing adaptive radiation. Finches are found all around the world, and they are not all that unique. But on the Galapagos, some rare opportunity arose that allowed these finches to become quite unique. As you can see in this picture, there was a common ancestor many years ago in fact millions of years ago that traveled from South America to the Galapagos Islands. On these islands there were very many open niches. Yep, you heard me, a niche. A niche is basically a position, a role taken by a kind of organism within its community. Think about it like job openings. There was an opening to eat and live in many places that were not already occupied. Over many generations the finches started finding what niche fit them best. And the results are 14 species of finches instead of just the first original species. Each finch evolved a distinct beak shape to exploit different food sources. Introducing the most common ancestor that was brave enough or crazy enough to fly over to the Galapagos Islands from the mainland. The dull colored grass crit. They are pretty dull colored, huh? These species are found on the west coast of South America, across Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, and Bolivia. Researchers did some molecular DNA testing to determine which species was the common ancestor to the 14 Galapagos finches. They found that indeed it was the grass quit. The warbler finch is not really a warbler but it looked and acts so much like a warbler that it was mistaken for one and it was so named. The warbler finch is a variation that decided to exploit the niche eating small insects. The warbler's beak possesses a thin probing bill that is finer than other species of finch. Most varieties on the Galapagos Islands are gray or green warbler finches. This yellow one is a warbler to compare the warbler finch to. It's cute, huh? The next finch, called the vegetarian finch, which is mottled brown and have a black head in the males. The vegetarian finch's beak looks similar to a parrot's beak. This species eats buds, leaves, flowers, and occasionally insects if it absolutely needs. These finches are found on a ma the majority of the islands. Not many birds eat leaves, so these birds are a little odd in that way. They filled in the particular niche of the vegetarian plant eaters. There are six different species in the genus Geospiza, or in other terms, seed-eating finches. Here we will cover the ground finches. There are three species of ground finch, small, medium, and large. I know, so creative. They are distinguished by their beak size. Each size of beak is skilled in the size of seeds that it eats. Imagine a hard, large seed. A bird with a strong, large beak will have an easier time cracking open this seed than a bird with a smaller beak. Think about it the other way as well. 
If you have a little seed, a large beak will not do so very a very good job picking up that seed. It's too small. This creates a speciation event that makes most of those that with large beaks pass on the large beak trait and those with smaller beak pass on the traits of smaller beaks. Uh, that is how you get so many variations of species in the ground finches. The tree finch also has three various species, small, medium, and large again. These finches focus on eating insects of various sizes. These finches probe crevices in tree bark and under twigs. They love to eat insect larvae with their sharp, grasping bill. These finches probably arose because of a drought that caused a scarcity of seeds that forced populations to eat insects. They are found on the majority of islands as well. The woodpecker finch enjoys eating bugs. This particular finch has a talented beak that can hold tools and help it find insects. The woodpecker finch can break off twigs, cactus spines, and sharpen its tool to reach bugs in deep crevices and holes to pull them and eat them. Thanks for watching. Till next time.